Good morning from Squamish, British Columbia. If you saw our last video, you probably know that we are here for 10 full days doing a trusted house sitters gig, looking after the sweetest little girl there ever was, who reminds us so much of our boy back home. It's just making us so homesick in all of the best ways. We are lucky enough to get these trusted house sitters gigs pretty frequently. So this is what a normal day looks like when we're doing a trusted house sitters. We've got to look after Misa, do some regular life things like pick up groceries to cook dinner, We've also got some work things to do, which today includes a very exciting business call that hopefully leads to something pretty amazing coming up shortly. <laughs> we will also explain how we get to stay in places like this for free. Charles. As all good house sitters, the number one priority for us is to look after the pets, which means that this morning, the first thing that we do, as with every morning, is take Mysa for a walk. Luckily, the view and the track here is unbelievable. We get to walk through the forest into like a section where it says there might be bears, where I get a bit freaked out. <laughs> but it's a nice way to start the day. Bit of adrenaline. All right, she wants to go. Oh, oh God. Whenever we get Misa without kids or other little dogs around, we let her off the leash and she enjoys it very much. <laughs> This is the bit of the walk where I start to get a bit nervous. Even though everyone seems so chill about the fact that there's bears here. They're like, oh, they're just brown and black bears. Like, it's no big deal. What do you mean? There's still a bear. The only time I've freaked out before so far is when Misa was barking at something we couldn't see. And that scared me a lot because if she's barking, there's normally a dog around. And I'm like, okay, that's she's barking at a dog. But she was barking at nothing and it freaked me out. <laughs> After our morning walk, we feed Misa, and now it's time to feed ourselves. Typically, when we're on the road or on travel day, a normal breakfast for us is just a banana because it's so easy to take on the road. But when we have trusted house sitters, we try and mix it up and have like eggs on toast. This time in Squamish, because we are surrounded by snow capped mountains, porridge sounded like a really good idea. Plus, this whole bag was like $3 or something, so it's very good for the budget. <laughs> Once we're finished with breakfast, we typically sit down and work for a couple of hours, which looks like this. Wondering how it comes, goes around, we did a 
Normally, I'm working behind the computer too. Emily and I both plan where we're going, but I'm the one that's in charge of logistics and actually getting things booked in. But because we have this meeting later on today, we wanted to keep our schedule kind of flexible in case things do happen. So I haven't had much work to do, which gives me time to explain to you exactly how we are staying here for free. If you've been online and read any of our income and expense reports, you know that we hate spending money. Every dollar that we can save contributes to spending more time on the road, which is our ultimate goal. So when we figured out you could stay in some of the biggest cities in the world and pay absolutely nothing, it was kind of like the next few years came into focus for us. Trusted House Sitters is a service that connects people looking for accommodation to homeowners in need of property and pet care. This sounds like a sponsored ad, but I promise you it's not. If you're not a pet lover, it's not for you. If you're just hoping to get some free accommodation and then leave the pet at home for long hours, don't bother applying. The Trusted House Sitters system does make a pretty good effort of making sure that is the case. They do three things. First, it's not free which sounds like it would be a negative thing, but it's actually a really big plus. Everyone on the platform, house sitters and hosts, are already financially invested in making this work. Second, there is an extensive verification process. And thirdly, and probably most crucially, the whole system functions through reviews. Both the sitter and the host can review their experience from start to finish after every single sit. People comment on communication, cleanliness, the behavior of the animals, pretty much anything. It really helps refine the process for the hosts and also weed out anyone who might be there for the wrong reasons. Thankfully, we've never really seen any bad sitters or hosts. We have paid for our yearly membership, which allows us to give a referral code for anyone who wants to sign up and they get 25% off. Jump down in the description, I will put the code there Give it a go. All right, I hope that was clear. I think it's time for another walk. Are you the cutest? You are the cutest. Cat. <laughs> We're going downtown. We have to replace some coffee because we accidentally maybe drank all of theirs. Apparently there's a cool brewery to check out. There's a huge Squamish sign. But to be honest, we just need to get away from our laptops for a while because we have been working for hours and hours and hours. Oh, that's a really cool ba bakery. <laughs> coffee shop and now we don't feel so bad about drinking literally all of their coffee. Turns out that's pretty much all there is of downtown Squamish. It seems like it's sort of one main road and then a few shops off of that. We've come down to the Yacht Club now and in the back you can see the Chief which is this huge mountain that we might climb while we're here but the very first full day we were here we went down the road like a half hour and climbed the sea to summit which was just amazing and I can completely understand why everyone here is always outside walking their dogs, going on hikes, doing crazy adventure things that I would never do like paragliding and slacklining and bouldering but I think it's time for maybe an afternoon drink. Yeah! This definitely isn't part of our everyday routine, but we thought we'd treat ourselves once and we walked past it. It looks pretty good. They also have a sign out the front that says day drinkers welcome. So I feel welcome here. <laughs> we are just missing happy hour, which sucks, but we'll just get one drink, then we've got to go back home for this meeting. It's a bit of a liquid courage for this meeting we have. We just had a pretty good meeting. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. There's a couple of really awesome things that we get to do thanks to the amazing people of Canada. Like once in a lifetime, never thought we would ever be able to do this kind of thing. I cannot believe it, like pinching, I'm pinching myself. It doesn't feel real. Okay. 
Let's walk the dog, take a breath, cook some dinner. Go work. While Emily finishes up cooking dinner, I'm gonna set up probably my second favorite thing about this house. And my first favorite thing about this house today is a tie between Misa the dog and these views. Insane. Dinner time. This is what we think is the beginning of down. <laughs> down, down. <laughs> Why is she okay? It has a seven in it. Morning snuggles. 